Hey guys, Stephanie here. I always try to start the video off positive, but I always end up negative, and I don't mean to. But I have a lot of confusion in me because I think that my mind is open, and I'm not putting people down. But I try to see all sides of things. I may have been forced in that position with my parents always calling me into their arguments or anything, but, you know, like more of the mediator thing, you know, I'm saying, and um, my heart always felt I wanted to help people anyway, but seemed to follow that pattern of always wanting to help or caring to give my time to solve things and to make it better. I, so I find myself in a lot of difficult positions because I don't understand why people don't want to do that. Um, it seems like a lot of people just care about themselves and nobody else. And I'm sorry that if I say that and you get mad at me, that's not what I'm trying to do. But for instance, there's a lot of things that are confusing to me. And I wish they weren't confusing. But like, here, here's a for instance. I'm, I'm watching a commercial thing that popped up when I didn't even click on it. It just auto-played on YouTube. And... And people are like, hold on, let me see. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our own hand sanitizer. I'm going to teach you how to give yourself a self-isolation hacker. <laughs> so I guess, I guess what it is, it's weird to me because, okay, everybody's in isolation, Okay. And I've already been in isolation. I've already had to give haircuts on my own. I've already had to do all that stuff. And I'm not sitting here putting people down there doing it. But when they make the video, they're like self-isolation. They're doing haircuts. They're baking cakes and everything else. But I already thought that they did all that. But see what I'm saying? I guess they didn't. I guess that they, they paid the money to get their haircut every time. They... Maybe never baked cakes and they just went and bought them. I don't know. It's just, I'm not trying to be rude when I say it, but the weirdest thing is, is seeing other people have to quarantine and do these things themselves. I guess I just never really thought about it coming from the position I'm in. Like, I, I mean, I knew they always probably just went and bought the cake and, and spent the money and, and did all that, okay? I already noticed that. Because, like, these people who are baking cakes and, and talking about the haircuts, they have these nicest houses. They're all decked out. This like, oh, my God, if I had something like that, shit, it would make my life a whole lot easier. Okay, get the point. But I'm not trying to be rude here. And that's what I'm saying. I want to do all these videos, but I'm going to sound rude. I don't know. I'll be making my first birthday cake from scratch. See what I'm saying? Making my first birthday cake from scratch. I'm sorry to say, but I'm getting pissed at this shit. What they always do? Go out and buy the damn cake every damn time? I don't know. I'm sorry. Make two stitches all the way around. Yep. I want to show you how to properly soak your nails off. Ew. All right, now they're making face masks, and they got the best fabric. The best house. They have all the sewing materials. They're, they're, look at, they're soaking their nails before it. What the hell? Ew, ew. Today, we're going to talk about how to groom your dog. <laughs> okay. Well, they never had to groom their old dog before because they always took him to the vet. See what I'm saying? <laughs> I have some key tips that will be helpful in working at home. Daddy's got to work. Today, I'm going to show you how to plant some seeds. Growth 
things you're gonna eat, you guys, okay? Okay? How to make a simple loaf of sourdough bread. I forgot to score the top, y'all. All right, so it's it just, I don't know. I, I just, um, we always had to cut our own hair. We always had to, I, I just, I guess I come from a different place in, like, <laughs> it's not higher. It's freaking a lot lower, but th that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I'm seeing all these people and my mind is just like, out in left field, like, oh my God, like, meaning like, well, I guess I kind of was right that they always go out and buy their cakes and ham and design. I, I, I always did see that they, <coughs> I went to try to get my hair colored once, but like what I mean is, uh, asking the lady for a price. She told me if I got nine highlights, it would cost 90 bucks. It's basically a 10 bucks a highlight. I didn't ask her what it would be to color the whole thing and she did mention low lights and stuff like this, but the thing is, there, there's no way in the whole wide world I ever even could afford it. So I'm always trying to color my hair at home, which I haven't done since my dog died like nine years ago. And I'm really pissed at myself. So actually, I guess all of this stuff going on right now could teach us a lesson. Uh, me, at least. I don't know. But I don't think it's... I don't know. Just, just shut up, stuff. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, I guess my whole point of it is, it says YouTube.com slash stay, stay home. Alright. Shit. I've already been stay at home for like 50 million years. I'm just saying. I don't know, it's weird seeing it from a different point. I, But then the thing is, is they're all doing these YouTube videos. And then I say to myself, well, stuff, well, why ain't you damn doing them? You should have been doing them a long time ago, Steph. You should have been telling them what you're doing a long time ago. And see, I'm finding myself getting frustrated. And I'm really sorry about that. I don't mean to be negative. I'm just seeing what I can't comprehend. I'm talking about what I can't comprehend. I mean, I think I comprehend it really well, but I don't want to be forming opinions and, and being like whatever the words are, like... Uh, judgmental and everything else you know I don't oh but it's just a weird thing from 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 where I'm sitting right now and, and seeing all this so if that ain't enough to make you make some YouTube videos like okay put it this way I saw Adam Sandler and he was on with um, Jimmy Kimmel and I thought to myself oh my god they're having to be at home right now like they can't go out and, like, that's their whole life. And then I thought, oh, my God, they're, they're just less looking as normal as me and you right now. I mean, as crazy as that might damn sound. And believe me, I don't want them to sit and have to stay at home. I'm almost sitting here feeling guilty that they got to stay at home. Isn't that crazy? That's how my mind gets. It gets weird. Why didn't I ever feel guilty about myself that I got to stay at home? What did I ever feel sorry for my damn self? What did I make videos about feeling sorry for myself? What did I make videos about feeling great for myself because I was at home and I was cooking cakes and everything else? I, I don't know. Do you see the confusion in my mind? So it's just like this really, really strange world that's opening up inside my head, I guess. Oh, I don't know. If anything, it's giving me a little more confidence. I mean, you know, we all can't... I don't know. I was going to say being Hollywood is so crazy to say. I mean, Steph, you're just rambling on about shit. You don't even know what you're doing, but the thing is, is maybe we're really not. Maybe we're not just rambling on. Maybe we're really making a damn point. Maybe that should be. Wouldn't that be the day if somebody popular watched your video? <laughs> Meaning mine. Or anybody's, for that matter. But j just saying, look at you just go to look at Gwen Stefani gives Blake Shelton a quarantine haircut, and let's see. I mean, come on. I mean, really? Okay, so they're feeling all good about themselves because they're cutting their own hair now. But, but what are they? What? what that, that's what I'm saying. That. But when they were out paying for their haircut the whole time, what were they thinking about us? That we were, like, kind of strange because we cut our own. 
But there was a reason for that. There was a reason why people cut their own damn hair. Because they can't freaking afford it. But I can't understand the reasoning behind them with the stay-at-home thing. See, I think it is because they get their hair cut, what, every six weeks? Isn't that what we're supposed to do? Shit. I'm going to tell you what. There was three times I didn't even get my hair cut one time. I just got my hair cut before my mom died. I hadn't had my hair cut in two and a half years. I was actually telling the guy at my work. I went in one day and I was just so depressed. My hair was so long. and I, I didn't know nothing about cutting it myself and I still don't. I only did it once. You know, but this was like, I don't know, six years ago. And I was like, I was afraid. I didn't want to cut my own hair. I didn't, you know, I did it. I was afraid. But see, fear, fear stops you. But geez, old Pete's. It's just very interesting and very weird at the same time. I don't know. What are they going to do when they can go out then and get their hair cut? And be all happy again? Or what are they going to do? Did they, did they maybe learn something that... They could do it themselves and at home without even paying the money. Well, shit, they would even be more rich, wouldn't they? But I, but I can't see a poor person cutting their own hair and getting more rich. I can see they're getting less poor. I don't know. Did I just say that right? I don't know. I'm not trying to be rude. Here I am again. I'm on the roll today, and it was just rambling, and things are coming to me, and I'm doing some wash, and I'm feeling shitty about myself today, but that's not why I'm doing videos. I'm just... I just need to talk about the weird things that I'm seeing. I don't know the weird things. I guess, I guess stuff to be proud of them that they're doing it. Be proud of them that they're cutting their own hair and everything. But, you know, I guess. Don't ask me what I'm talking about. And if somebody wants to kill me and put the negative, they can put the dislike. Just like on my autism view, they put a dislike. If I come out and just talk and say what I want to say, shit, they're all over it. It's not like I, I base my whole life on getting dislikes. It's just that, geez, old Pete's, can't somebody give you a like once in a while? Like, meaning you guys all do give me a like. Thank you for doing that. But but what I'm saying is we know each other. And what I just don't understand is why they don't, they don't want to know other people. But now they want us all to know them since they're in quarantine. Oh, they're, they're heroes. Well, there's nothing really about being a hero cutting your own hair your whole life or there's nothing really about being a hero of staying home all the time and having to take care of things and do because you don't have I there's no hero-ness in that I guess but now they're even more of a hero I don't know then they take it into their news station like one of the news people Chris Cromo he had he had the virus and he was quarantining in his basement, and he was still uh, doing his news stations in his basement. And he's even more of a hero now. And like, like, why I'm saying the word hero is because, like, oh, where am I coming from? I don't know. I don't know. It just seems like once you're low, you're always low because that's the world puts you there. So we have to just not allow the world to to keep us there but I'm trying to understand the other side of should now I be proud of them because they're cutting their own hair at home in quarantine when they're rich people I, I don't know so what I'm trying to do is try to change my mindset I don't know see thanks for helping me out and making a comment and telling me how to see things and I know that we shouldn't tell people how to see things but I'm really 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 having a hard time right now understanding things and I I love input I, I love people helping me see things different ways I'm I'm so open to that maybe I'm offended at first sometimes because I'm not used to it but but I really do uh would you say I'm open for advice. That's what it is. Thank you. Please forgive me if I offended you. I don't mean to do that. That's not why <coughs> I do these videos. It's not to offend. It's for me to have a greater understanding of, of what I'm seeing or going through. That's it. So I love you. 
All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye.